Hey folks, welcome to Verified Investing. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Now in today's video, we are gonna look at oil, analyzing the chart from a purely technical analysis perspective, looking at both the near-term key support and resistance levels, as well as the long-term, and we're gonna forecast out where oil is going over the next few weeks and months. So let's dive into the charts here and take a look. First things first, we see oil has been in a little bit of a mini free fall the last few days. After topping out on September 3rd around $65.75, it finds itself around $61.75. So that's a decent little drop for three days. Now, you might say, well, how did we know that the top was gonna be right here before a pullback? I'm gonna show you very simply. So what you had here was what we call a bear flag. Here's your upside down flagpole, and this is your bear flag formation. What you do is you connect the lows of the bear flag, and when you drag that trend line out, notice how, again, here's your flagpole, here's your flag. So this told you oil, when it was up here, was going to go down. It broke down, which is what a bear flag should do. And then ultimately, what ends up happening, we see oil bouncing back to what we call the scene of the crime. It finds its way back to what was technical support, once it's broken, it becomes technical resistance. And sure, and sure enough, what do we see? We see oil getting rejected off of that level. So near-term bias is down uh, for a little bit, although it's not a lot more downside. We have a key gap fill. Gap fills in technical analysis are very important. And you have a gap fill and pivot area right here around $60.65. And that now becomes the next support. So near term, a little bit more downside to gap fill. Then we should see a small bounce and then a resumption of the trend should resume with oil going lower. Where's oil going to find its way back to? Well, eventually it's probably going to test this 55 to $56 level. But I want to show you one more thing, folks. If you zoom out on this chart and we take our major low, which back in 2020 during the COVID collapse was just an epic, epic, epic drop. What we can see here is if we take that low, we can see and we scan it all the way through these, you have an additional kind of area of support right below $60. So remember, we have the gap fill here at $60 and dollars and 65 cents. And then basically a dollar lower, there's more support. So essentially this level should really give us some sort of bounce, but I still think eventually it breaks. Now you might say, well, why do I think eventually it breaks? Because overall, this again is a downtrending commodity and the U.S. data numbers, the labor market data that we've gotten, continues to show, albeit a slow showing, slowing, uh, it is a slowing environment for the U.S. economy. And with that comes lower oil prices. In addition, we have other factors like OPEC clearly overproducing to basically push out of business some of the U.S. producers that cannot produce as cheaply as they can. And we also know that we're essentially in a world where essentially, um, you know, U.S. producers, we have all the oil we need at this point. And so, yes, you have data centers and all these other things that could cause a spike in demand, but the, the move is more towards nuclear energy for that and alternate energy as well. All right, back to the charts we go. Let's take a look so longer term, what's the downside general target? And really what we're seeing here is number one, you know, you're looking at a obvious down sloping kind of trend here, right? So again, if we connect some of these low pivots, this would give me a baseline to start looking for that bigger area of support along with this key level here. And I really am kind of in the belief that oil, again, you'll have a stopping point around 53.75 here. But really, the longer term, the trend line, if you look at this, right, this is very crystal clear. In fact, look at how far back this trend line goes. It just keeps going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny here all the way back to 2015, right? So what we see here is when you have a trend line that goes back that far, the odds are that that is where price is going to get drawn to. And you can see here, you know, and again, this is a really good technical analysis point is that when you have a trend line that has been validated for literally in this case for 10 years, it has represented major highs and major lows. And granted, price has gone through it, but then when it's on the other side, it acts as support. When it breaks below, it acts as resistance. And so there's some sort of magnetic pull by that. And what that tells us is that in general, oil is going to be eventually drawn back to that level. In this case, just below $43 a barrel, and that would be where we would expect it to go. So 
Now we're talking longer term. So again, just to be crystal clear, I always like to be as clear as I can. The near-term bias is still down until we fill the gap, anywhere between $60.65 and $59.65. And so that dollar range here, that should yield some sort of near-term bounce, right? So a near-term bounce, how high, we don't know, but we should get some sort of bounce there. All right, once that breaks, we'll have a little bit of support at $55.50, these pivot lows. But ultimately, again, with bounces aside, the longer term, is continuing to point, and I'm gonna get rid of these now so we can just focus on this one trend line. The longer term is pointing to 40, basically 43 bucks, we'll call it. it might be a little bit below 43, but look at look at the with amazement, and, and even this stuff amazes me even to this day. But look, low, low, we pierced it here, but still behaved low here, 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 and then look at the highs, right? So if we flip it around, you have, you hit it right here on a retrace, all right, and then again, we came back here and multiple times there and there, we kind of utilized that same trend line. I mean, that's a lot of key levels to really be hammering on. And it gives us this longer term, beautiful target on this trade on oil to the downside. Now, what's the outlook here? I would say potentially within six months. And I know that's not a long-term projection, but the key is for me, that's long-term. I'm a swing trader, so I'm generally a shorter-term investor and trader. So really this would be longer-term. Uh, for me at least. But the idea is again, right around $43 a barrel, look for oil to come down. I would say by the, the end of the first quarter of 2026 is when we're looking for that as a target. And really you have to extrapolate out what this means, right? It means essentially that the US economy has continued to weaken, even if the Fed cuts rates, it's continued to weaken and therefore demand has really seen destruction and that drives prices down. And really OPEC wants to continue to push oil down. My guess is to at least $50 a barrel, but I don't think they'll be able to stop price from going down once the US slips into recession or gets close to it. All right, so again, really interesting here on the bigger picture, what, what oil is telling us. It Oil is one of the key commodities along with gold that tells us that economic trouble is really here to stay, not just a blip on the screen. If you look at the stock market, right, the stock market's near all time highs. You know, to most people, the stock market would be saying, hey, the economy is going to be just fine. But the underlying commodities, that's where we're seeing this trouble brewing, both in gold being at all time highs, essentially, and oil being near 52 week lows and likely headed lower. So economically, oil telling us something here, look for it over the mid to six month period to head down to $43 a barrel. Near term, you're looking at 60, uh, 60 ish dollars, give or take a little bit for a bounce and then the resumption of the downtrend. All right, you guys have a great one. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.